when a green-bellied huntsman tackles a colony of jumping jack ants. It's a clash of the titans. If an army is only as strong as its weakest soldier, then a squad of jumping jack ants is a force to be reckoned with. Small in size, big on attitude. They're tough and powerful from head to tail. Even though these are small ants, they are really fierce ants. They've got a strong, potent sting that really packs a punch. Barely one third of an inch long, jumping jack ants fight well above their weight and deliver a mean punch from both ends. At the front, large serrated mandibles that bite, grip, and slash. These mandibles can pack a nasty bite, but this is nothing compared to the sting that they have at the back end that is capable of injecting a truly nasty venom that can incapacitate or kill prey very quickly. With a stinger on the end of its extraordinarily agile tail, the jumping jack can deliver toxic proteins in repeated stings powerful enough to induce fatal allergic reactions in humans. The venom is usually reserved for smaller prey, like cockroaches, march flies, and grasshoppers. You would think that these ants are going out and capturing prey for themselves. That isn't so. Actually, these jumping jack ants live on nectar, a little bit of sugar water. Primarily, they're bringing back the prey to feed the developing ant larvae that need meat in order to grow. The larvae are hidden away in nests built with soil. Nests are often constructed under rocks or tree roots. Away from the nest, a jumping jack ant forages alone. Its never-ending job is to bring home the bacon, no matter how cumbersome. It's a pit bull and pack horse rolled into one. These jumping jack ants are really strong ants. They can be grabbing prey, holding onto them with their mandibles, and at the same time, even as the prey is fighting them, they can keep moving them gradually toward their colony. The jumping jack ant has one more astonishing skill. Like a super action hero, it leaps tall branches in a single bound. But it's not the only bug in this forest with superhero status. The green-bellied huntsman is an arch-villain, not afraid to show its true colors. If you look at this spider's belly or the joints of its legs, you'll see that it's a beautiful blue-green color. That's because they have a very different form of blood than humans. And they use this blood to pump up their legs. And if the blood pressure drops, the legs will go limp, just like a hose would when you turn the faucet off. With their hydraulically assisted takeoff, green bellies are super fast. All terrain hunters with the will to kill. This huntsman also keeps a low profile. Camouflaged one minute, prowling the next. A stealthy loner in search of other speedy spiders. This unsuspecting wolf spider is taken down before it knew what hit it. 
the green belly's vicious fangs rip into its body, mashing it up. The green-bellied huntsman's fangs are large and powerful. So once they've been driven into a prey, there are no second chances. For an accomplished hunter, a large, solitary foe is an easy target. But what happens when the green flash encounters a warring gang of jumping jack ants? When it's facing a bunch of pesky little ants, there's not much to bite onto. And even if it kills one or several, there's more coming. Next, showdown. Super ants versus an arch villain. Then, two tough guys slug it out in the rainforest. And later, pro fighters in a no holds barred battle. On the forest floor, a low-slung superhero is about to face a team of brutal base jumpers. Big mandibles, good vision, and they jump. And they're able to jump relatively long distances. The thing is, is even though these are small ants, they are really fierce ants. This is jumping jack territory, an underground nest and a patch of forest where they forage for food to feed their larvae. The green-bellied huntsman is hungry too, and it's waiting for a kill. But it's been spotted by a lone jumping jack ant. It launches at the interloper. The green flash grabs it and sinks in its fangs. But the jumping jack gets in a well-timed sting. Toxic proteins, four times more potent than bee venom, target cells and critical organs, partially paralyzing the huntsman. We're still. The alarm has been sounded back at the colony. More ants rush in. The spider manages to crush one in its jaws, but has been stung again. Jumping jack ants are really quite aggressive, and they're not going to back off just because a single ant has been killed. This is ant behavior. Once they start attacking, they keep going. The ants work as a team, creating a diversion up front, while one stings the disabled spider from the rear. Even more powerful venom floods into the green belly's body. As toxins begin destroying the spider's internal organs, the once pumped up and powerful legs dangle uselessly. Still the jumping jacks attack. Mandibles slash the spider. A blister of green blood swells from a gash in the abdomen. Still attacking with their razor sharp mandibles. The jumping jack ants lap up the green belly's lifeblood. And we thought only vampires drank blood. The ants are lapping up the spider's blood without a second thought. This is a very undignified way to go out. In a bug battle, there's no such thing as an invincible superhero. Make one slip and you're dead meat. 